Hi, Emilia from Bitscode, and in this short video, I wanted to show you how you can create a press monitoring dashboard. So, what is that? There is a very famous um, uh, newsletter called Help a Reporter Out, where journalists send you different questions and um, various topics, uh, which looks like this. Looks like this, and uh, it allows you to get in touch with the journalist and provide your expertise uh, and get uh, to know the journalist and establish a relationship. So, there are many topics that you can apply to, but the problem is that it's quite a lot of things to track. Uh, and uh, in this video, I wanted to show you how you can create a press monitoring dashboard where you can analyze those topics automatically, uh, build charts uh, like this. Uh, so, for instance, there are, you can track what is what are the queries that have deadlines today. Uh, maybe some things that topics you have deadlines this week. Then you can filter this out by providing, let's say, extra things. Let's say let's filter only biotech, and we will see the distribution on different media, what they're writing about. Let's say Mom Junctions almost all almost all the time writes about uh, biotech. And health tech and etc but it allows you to build um, this dashboard in, that is updated in real time and see what is going on also using bitscout you can add custom topics categorize queries based on your criteria and this way you will have more targeted understanding of which queries you should reply to and also build the keyword cloud if you if you can extract keywords all in all this allows you to have a holistic view of the um, uh, current trends in, uh, in PR and journalist space and allows you also to automate the answer. So let's say if the deadline is today, you can, uh, as you parse the query, you can automatically send um, a template answer uh, or introduction of yourself and your service based on the topic or a media outlet which is very important because it automates lots of actions but also allows you to build um, more uh, complex workflows and more uh, and better automations if you want to get in touch with the journalists, uh, which is uh, for many industries, especially in marketing, is very important. Okay, the press monitoring dashboard works uh, based on uh, this uh, small scenario, uh, which is very easy to uh, implement, and you will have access to it. I will share it with you the blueprint, and it works in the following manner. Okay, first thing is we add a module called Gmail and we just add here that we want to monitor all emails coming from this mail uh, address. And uh, this means that we will track only Haro um, emails. You can add extra filters here. Then uh, next thing is we need to break the query. So if you uh, take a look uh, on how the query looks like, so let me show you. So they are like this. This is the full query, okay, a very big one. But then the next one is separated by these um, many dashes. And this is a very good um, way for us to split the queries into single ones, because then BitScout can read the single query and extract the data for me. And that's what we do here. So I take the text from a Gmail and just split it using this line as a split behavior. And at the output, I have many, uh, many queries separated as, as an array. And then the next thing that I run um, is a BitScout plugin. Um, we have a template called uh, Haro, which analyzes Haro messages. You can test it here. So let's just run a test. Okay, so let's take this query and run it. And it will just give you all the fields in um, in a way that you can map them into different tasks in Monday. So here they are. Okay, and, and pay attention that the deadline is uh, in a formatted date. So this is your um, Haro email, and uh, uh, it allows us to parse it, parse it. And then the next step is um, what I'm doing here is I'm creating a topic, a custom topic from a query. The point is that for me, I need to track specific things and I want 
um, the I want to beat Scott to tell me if the topic of the query is the one that I'm interested in, and that's not this high level high, general biotech and something else. Okay, so what I did is I used a functionality in our platform called categorization here. So here, if you can you can configure your own custom way of categorizing data. And that's what I did. So I did, I added many examples. I took a query, let's say, okay, let's take this query. And I would put it Kardashians because Kardashians probably is the topic uh, on their own. Okay, so let's add another example. Let's take some other thing. Okay. Okay, just mm -hmm. I mean, it's cardiology, so I can call it cardiology. Okay, now I have, uh, I can add more examples based on the topic, but the AI will pick up the, the way I categorize that, and I can always add examples later. Okay, so now this is the plugin. Okay, let's create one. I wrote topic two, so I don't mix them together. And the way it will do is if you put another topic, let's say here, oh, it's interesting what it will tell us, but it will try to figure out what, what is the topic of this query. Okay. Not sure that I agree, but I can add this example here and, uh, and uh, fix it. Now, uh, I already created uh, this for me because we are using this uh, for ourselves to track all the topics in AI. And uh, as you can see here in validation, it's mostly things about uh, augmented grad. I mean, something that I would like to say, if, if somebody is talking about chatbots, I want to know about that. Independently, if it's a biotech or logistics, okay? It's a chatbot. That's a question for me as well that I'm interested in. Now, uh, this is the second uh, plugin which analyzes that. And if the query is empty, sometimes query can be empty, I analyze the sum, all right? Uh, what is it to do? And I add an ignore here if both of them are empty for some reason, I don't want the scenario to break. And the next step is I extract keywords. It's not an, a necessary step. The reason why I want keywords is I have this word cloud here for me, which basically gives me a little bit of hints of what people are interested in. As you can see, mostly it's uh, business tips, benefits. So it gives you kind of a cloud for keywords that you can use. And uh, then we have a simple router because I sometimes I write it to different tools, but in this case, you don't need a router. You can write it directly to Monday and uh, you write it uh, as a, you create, just create a task. The most important thing is here to use a uh, create labels Yes, because this way you can write directly into uh, drop downs. And drop downs are needed because drop downs, uh, drop down fields here are basis for your charts. You can filter, okay, using drop downs, okay, so you can filter. Because these are drop downs, I can build this nice chart. Mm -hmm. So now I have a live um, monitoring, um, press monitoring dashboard. So let's, let's run it and you will see what happens. So let me go back in time a little bit. So let's start here. And just run. And now it will take the email, just one email, uh, which can be contain lots of questions and we'll just run with it. I'm analyzing the whole email without breaking down into topics, uh, but you can only analyze a certain topic if you want to, okay? So what will happen is that will be, okay, so we already see here the tasks, they have a deadline, then I can move it here using extra automations. But this way uh, you can create um, an automated press monitoring dashboard. And when some topic is there, deadline is today, you can send yourself a message or automatically trigger the email, introducing yourself or your service to this journalist because you have email parsed here. And uh, this is the way uh, how emails work, okay? That's it. It will go over uh, many emails. I think it's 100 uh, uh, something. But this way you can have um, a very sophisticated um, press monitoring dashboard and practically one hour uh, setup. 
uh, that all takes uh, a little bit of, uh, as you can see, that it, even the scenario is not very complicated. Uh, and um, yeah, and um, you can have everything monitored here and automatically send in emails and establish the relationships with the reporter. And if you work in marketing, you probably know how important is that. Uh, so this way um, you can do um, those automations uh, without having a full team reading the emails every day. I, I remind you there are three emails per day. So it's a lot, 300 questions to read through. So you can do that yourself. Uh, no need for tech people, just very straightforward and that's it. So if you have any questions, uh, I'd be happy to answer to you. And uh, feel free to grab, to read an article and grab the scenario, take the templates and implement it yourself. If you have troubles, uh, just let us know via chat on our platform and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks a lot for your time.